Arsenal boosted for London derby as new reports suggest more injuries in Tottenham. Meanwhile, a new report has Arsenal as favourites to sign a star player in the next transfer window. Hey guys! Welcome back to the Arsenal News Channel. As we're here to bring you the latest updates to keep you informed on all things Gunners. Arsenal are in a light transfer race, with Mikel Arteta already eyeing the January window. Oteta may be starting to regret not strengthening his squad further towards the end of the last window, as injuries and suspensions have left the team in a delicate situation. Reports suggest that Arsenal, along with Aston Villa, are closely monitoring the highly rated Valencia midfielder. Despite his £85 million release clause, Valencia are reportedly willing to offload Harvey Guerra for less than £25 million, reducing the price tag by £60 million. This development has reportedly sparked interest from a number of Premier League clubs in securing the services of the young talent who came through the Valencia Academy. At 21, Guerra has become a key player in Valencia's midfield, demonstrating great composure and control of the pace of games. However, financial difficulties at Mestalla have opened up the possibility of a sale, and Premier League clubs are ready to pounce. For Arsenal, the interest in Guerra aligns perfectly with Mikel Arteta's long-term plans to revamp his midfield. With both Partey and Jorginho set to expire next summer, Guerra appears to be a younger, more dynamic option. Adding Guerra would allow Arteta to future-proof the midfield and develop the next generation for his energetic style of play. And it appears Arsenal have the upper hand, with reports suggesting Guerra would prefer a move to the Emirates, largely for the chance to work with Mikel Arteta. But Arteta's search for midfield reinforcements doesn't end with the Valencia player. Recent reports have suggested that Mikel Arteta is keen on Real Madrid star Aurelien Chouamini and Arsenal are interested in signing him next year. The Gunners have been active in the transfer market, selling a number of players to fund new signings. However, speculation continues, with more players linked with potential moves. Thomas Partey, whose contract is expiring and who was previously linked with Saudi Pro League football, remains at Arsenal and has started all three Premier League games this season. According to reports in Spain, Partey is a key defensive pivot for Arsenal but the club reportedly have no intention of offering him a new contract. The report claims that Arsenal are looking to fill the void left by Partey and are determined to sign Chouamini. The Boot Room reports that Liverpool have also held discussions with Real Madrid over signing the 24-year-old. However, no offers were made as Real Madrid made it clear that neither player was available for transfer. The Spanish report states that Arsenal are still keeping an eye on Chouamini, but Real Madrid are keen to keep him. Transfer expert Fabrizio Romano recently provided a concrete update on Chouamini's situation. Romano clarified, despite recent rumours, Aurelian Chouamini's intention is to remain at Real Madrid. The club sees him as a crucial part of its project for now and for the future. The situation between the club and the player is ideal and there are currently no concrete possibilities of him leaving Spanish football. Meanwhile, Arsenal fans can breathe a sigh of relief as it appears Captain Martin de Gard may have avoided the worst. Norwegian team Dr. Ola Sand has provided a preliminary diagnosis suggesting De Gard could be out for just a few weeks. The Arsenal captain underwent further tests on Wednesday as swelling in his ankle prevented a clear reading and made the initial scanning conclusive. There is hope that today's tests will provide definitive details about the injury, although De Gard may need to undergo further tests. The Norwegian medical team believe he has avoided a fracture, although the full extent of the injury remains unclear. From the MRI in London, it seems that there is probably no fracture in the ankle, San told Norwegian newspaper Verdens Gang. San noted that de Gard felt significant pain immediately after the injury, which understandably caused concern. The scans are being reviewed and if there was a fracture we would be looking at a recovery period of more than six weeks, he added. Norway manager Stale Solbakken has suggested that de Gard may not be available for the October internationals, which could mean he is out for more than a month. Solbakken commented, it is difficult for us to consider playing without Martin, especially with the games against Slovenia and Austria coming up. The delay in the prognosis is partly due to Degard's previous ankle injury three years ago when he was on loan at Arsenal from Real Madrid. 
Arsenal are hoping Degard will return sooner rather than later, but losing him for crucial matches against Tottenham and Manchester City would be a significant blow. Despite Arsenal's challenges with key players potentially missing, Spurs are facing their own injury problems. Mali international Yves Basuma suffered an injury during Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers and has been rushed to London for further assessment. His availability for the derby remains uncertain. Adding to Spurs' problems, Mickey van der Ven is a doubt after picking up an injury in the Everton game. The Dutch defender missed international duty and it is unclear whether he will be fit to face Arsenal. Summer signing Dominic Solanke, who played the full 90 minutes on his debut against Leicester, has been ruled out with an ankle problem, missing games against Everton and Newcastle. While it remains uncertain whether he will be ready for Sunday, his imminent return against Newcastle suggests he could have a role in the derby. Further complicating Spurs' attack, Rich Allison, who has remained at the club despite increasing competition up front, is also a doubt. The Brazilian has been nursing an unspecified injury sustained in training and is expected to be out for a few weeks. With both managers potentially fielding weakened teams, the North London derby promises to be a fiercely contested clash. Arsenal fans can expect nothing less than a determined effort from their side to secure a crucial victory. Arsenal's current midfield woes highlight the rapid pace at which challenges can arise at the highest level and the critical importance of squad depth for a team competing on multiple fronts. With the transfer window now closed and no immediate help available, Mikel Arteta is already looking ahead to next summer's transfer market. According to Spanish website Fitches, Arsenal are among for clubs interested in Bayern Munich's Jamal Musiala at the end of the season. The report highlights Arsenal's interest in the versatile midfielder, who can excel in both central and wing positions. However, the Gunners will face intense competition from a number of top European clubs. Manchester City, Real Madrid and Barcelona are all vying for Musiala's signature. Real Madrid are interested in adding another midfielder to replace veteran Luka Modric. City see Musiala as a long-term successor to Kevin De Bruyne, and Barcelona believe he would be a perfect fit for their project. Musiala, whose contract runs until 2026, is valued at €130 million Euros by Transfermarkt. Bayern Munich are likely to view next summer as their final chance to secure a substantial fee for the 21-year-old if no new deal is agreed. If the midfielder continues his current form, he could become one of the best of his generation, making a move to a top European club a natural next step. So fans, do you think Arsenal should look for a midfielder in the January transfer window? Who would be the ideal addition to add depth to the squad this season? Leave your comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications.